Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with a mini album to do today and I'm going to start with this Saw Crafters little dress album and this Kaiser Craft um, paper that I've done one layout using this paper and so I thought I'd go ahead and use the rest of it for a mini album and I do go through almost all of it. I think I have like one full sheet, some scraps and some stickers left by the time I get done. And I had also gotten these die cuts that supposedly match this collection, but look how yellow they are. I just was like, ew. Um, yeah, I just couldn't use them with this. I mean, they're cute and they'll be good with some other papers that are more yellow colored, but I mean, they go with this collection, but they messed up on the color somehow. So anyway, I decide not to use those for this mini album. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the album. I'm using the Little Girl uh, Dress album. And I think she has a uh, larger version of this album too. So I'll try to put links to the ones that, that I used um, below. So I'm just gonna do the edges and that bottom scallop because I don't wanna have to use an X-Acto knife to trim my paper around all those scallops at the bottom. So I'm just gonna leave those uh, sticking out as white or put lace on them. So there you can see I just did around the edges. And what I do is I trace around the outside and then I cut just inside my pencil line. And uh, that makes it pretty much perfect um, when it goes onto the album. So I'm just going to show you like two pages of how I how I do this. A lot a lot of people do it differently um, but this is how I've found it works best for me. So again I'm just cutting on the inside of my pencil line and then on this first page I actually go ahead and use my Tim Holtz ink all the way around before I put it on but that wasn't really necessary. Um, Mostly it's just the the bottom where it's going to overlap those scallops that I need to ink first because you can ink it once it's already on. Either way, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to use my glue stick and this is the Pioneer glue stick that I uh, like doing mini albums with. And then you just adhere that and the little scallops show up as white on the bottom. I'm just wiping off any glue that kind of went out the edge and I use my bone folder to make sure it's all down and if it's not exact you know where I trimmed it I just trim it off and I also use um, a little emery board I think that's what I'm pulling out now yeah and I just kind of do that so if your edges aren't perfect you know when you cut it out no big deal just kind of take an emery board get anything that sticks over and then ink it re-ink it or ink it for the first time and voila, there you go. And then um, I just kind of figure out where I want it on the paper for that other side. Oh, and I take the little things out so I know where my holes are. And I go ahead and punch those before I cover them up. And then again, I lay it down. I trace around it. And then I just cut to the inside of my pencil line. And you know, while I'm doing this, I have a little DVD player in my craft room, one of those little portable ones, and I'm just, you know, watching some movies or listening to music or whatever on there. And this time I just ink the bottom where it's gonna go over those scallops. And then after I do the emery board and stuff, I'll go ahead and um, ink it around the outside edge. And this is how I do it for all the pages. So I make sure it's all stuck down on there. Trim up my edges with the emery board. And then go ahead and put my ink on there. And so it's pretty simple. It's just got to do it for each of the pages and there we go oh and make sure you put your holes back in there 
So that was one page down. And then I just go ahead and do it exactly the same for all the rest of the pages. So here are my pages all finished. And I just love this paper line. It's so soft and cute. And I actually put that one, I was going to make the front and I decorate it and everything. And then later I don't like it. So if I don't like something, I'll try to just pull it off and um, do it over. So that's what I do. And now I'm diving into my saw crafter stuff and you'll see me just kind of going through a lot of things. I've got a couple of her little baby collections. Um, you can see like a bottle, a diaper pin, a pacifier, a rattle, a baby carriage, got some ladybugs, a bunny rabbit, a bird, a comb, and I'm just continuing to look through. I've got the It's a Girl there, but I don't wind up using it. It was a little big for this is the smaller size mini. I could have put it at the bottom. Um, but I decided to save that one for a layout. And then I've also got these little envelopes from recollections that I had found in clearance. And I want to put one of those in there to put extra photos or if she wants to put the hospital bracelet or a lock of hair or anything like that in the envelope she can later. And then I also have on clearance, I got those Jolie's boutique little kind of lace uh, applique bows and little circles. And so I wind up using that whole pack on this album. So I also um, dive in, I've got this lace here. And I don't know who I got this lace from. It was either Olga or um, Tammy at Tatsy 2. And, um, but whoever it was, thank you very much. It came in handy on this. Um, and, uh, I love how it kind of hangs out over the bottom. And like I said, on this front page, I wind up taking this off and redoing it, but I reuse all this. So it, the only thing that got wasted was that piece of paper that's on the front there. So I'm just looking through some of my other laces, not quite sure what I'm going to do on this. And then I have this one pack of pink flowers that I like. They're um, from the dollar bin at Michael's. They're the new ones from this year and they were all gone except one pack. So someone uh, bought them out at my Michael's. And so I just have this one pack of pink, but it works out perfect um, for this album. I use most of them in this and they're really good because they're flat so they don't make my mini um, get too bulky which is really nice because I debated on whether to use the roses but the roses get a little bit thick for the mini albums so now I'm looking through my other pages kind of figuring out you know where I want to place stuff and, and this is probably the hardest part is getting going as to getting a plan as to what you're gonna do and um, you know how you're going to decorate the pages and with these being little dresses you can pretty much decorate them like any dress you know so that uh, works out really good and then I also have these little tags these little chipboard tags from saw and one is a bottle there's a little onesie and a dress so three of the pages will be have little pockets with these inserted inside and I want to use those um, to give Allison's mom a place to journal and stuff so those will be like little journaling tags and so I just take some of my scraps of paper and I cut down for a little pocket and I use my EK success scallop punch on there and just um, scallop the edge and then I also use my Tim Holtz ink on that I pretty much ink most everything on this album with the um, vintage photo and then when I glue it down on there I make sure to glue it with that kind of in the pocket so that it um, because those are chipboard they're somewhat thick so I want to make sure there's room so with it on there when I glue it it kind of pooches it up and make sure that I don't make the pocket too tight because if it's a little loose now that's fine because once I put the paper and stuff on there it'll be just perfect and it'll stay in there and won't fall out so then I just trim the edges off 
put a little more vintage photo on there. And then there's my first pocket. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that with three of the pages. And then I'm also going to do a couple of the pages with this lace. I don't want to do every page with this same lace, but um, I do want it to kind of hang down and give a little texture at the bottom. And I have another one of these little albums that's about the same size that's the onesie that I'm going to do for my grandson. But it's been hard for me to get into a longer project lately, just I guess because I was sick there for a while and I'm just kind of getting back into my craft room. So this is kind of the longest um, project I've done for a bit. And luckily, um, my hubby is at the farm. He's disking the field. So um, and my son-in-law's with him, helping him. So I didn't need to be there. And uh, I could actually stay home and craft this weekend. So it was awesome. And I had some uninterrupted time to do a little bit larger project. So... I was really excited because I bought these products from Saw and I hate to leave something sit too long um, for fear that I won't get it done. So it's glad to get in there and use this. And so there's my pocket for the little dress that's going to go in there. And then I'm going to do one more pocket. Did I already do three? There's the bottle, there's the dress. Yeah, so I have to do one more for the little onesie tag to fit in there. And then the um, pictures and stuff that I use, I pretty much use my scallop die cuts, either scalloped circles, ovals, or squares. And so that kind of fits in with the scallop on the bottom of the dress and then the scallop that I'm using on these pockets. So I kind of stayed with scallops for most of my die cutting just to give a little bit of continuity. So I'm just kind of looking to see how the pages would insert and, you know, where I would want because I want a tag, not two tags together um, on pages. So I want them to be spaced evenly throughout the album, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so I was just kind of making sure that that was going to work. And hot glue comes in really handy for this type of thing. Um, because it does dry fast and um, it doesn't stay sticky like a... Um, like score tape or something so that later your tag gets like stuck in there if you've ever noticed that the score tape doesn't ever really dry out it's it stays tacky so anything that's in the pocket can sometimes get caught in the adhesive at the bottom so I like to use the hot glue or a stick glue to glue my pockets down Oh, and there I've covered the little, like the little baby bottle, the onesie and the dress. And, um, I also painted all my little pieces like this, um, baby carriage and stuff. And I painted everything, uh, just with white acrylic paint. And then I've cut out some scallop circles to use for my decorating. And I think I cut out some ovals too. And my foam tape isn't super sticky, so I just go ahead and put a little dab of hot glue on there as well. And I'm just using that scallop circle that I've edged with the vintage photo just to kind of hold um, this flower and the little uh, diaper pin. And then I want to kind of evenly space a lot of my little wood embellishments throughout the album as well. And then I've also got some of this um, pearl trim and then I'm going to put on some of them because like I said, I don't want lace to hang down from every page. So I want to use some other items. 
and that just finishes off the bottom there and looks really cute. And so now I'm just looking through, um, I have a lot of indecision on uh, decorating this, I guess because it's been a while since I've done a mini album. So um, I've done a few altered books and stuff and junk journals, but uh, not a mini album like this. So it had been a while for me to get back in the groove of it. So now I'm figuring out some decorations. Uh, here's the little oval that I had um, die cut out. And that die cut is one of those from Hot Off the Press. I belong to a little, it's like a little um, club where they like mail you a different die cut, I think every other month. And um, so I really enjoy their die cuts and they have a lot of these that are just really easily usable. And so I just use that to give a place for the baby rattle to sit and to highlight that. And then I want to put the baby bottle on this one. So I'm trying to find something to back the baby bottle on. And it's a little more challenging with that paper because it's such a um, busy floral. So I choose the little gingham there put the little baby bottle on and then I'm also going to decorate the bottom left hand corner by this envelope well eventually <laughs> okay so I still have the little pacifier to put on there so I go ahead and put one of the Michael's flowers and the pacifier. And then on this one, I put the Michael's flower and the ladybug. Just so that every page has a little touch of uh, wood embellishments on there. And then I also go ahead and add a flower um, to this cluster with the baby bottle. And here's where I go and I put this uh, scallop circle down on the bottom corner there. And then what I do is I use the bunny um, on that circle and I do it so that his ear will be kind of a closure for the envelope so you can kind of stick it behind there and that helps hold the envelope closed. And then I've still got this little birdie to put on there. So again, I put another of the Michael's flowers and then I put the little bird on it, which is a very Portland thing to do, put a bird on it. And I think that's all of the wood embellishments that I had painted. So now I go back to putting um, more of my laces and trims on there. And I think at some point my husband like calls me and um, on the phone. And so I wind up uh, having to take a little break here. But um, now I'm just going and adding a bunch of these um, Jolie's little applique bows. And they're really pretty. They give a nice little vintage touch to this soften up areas. So I'm adding one to that cluster with the ladybug and that one with the ladybug winds up being my um, front page eventually because at this point I'm just not really sure what's going to be my front page and what's not so so there I'm getting a little bit of decoration on everything And then I get um, called away and so I go ahead and I cut out my photos and like I said I used a lot of scallop circles ovals and squares I also add some of the Fiskars 
baby stamps, so tiny, and that little diaper pin. I put her name on there with some chili bean alphas. And I also used that love stamp, which I think is um, a graphic 45 stamp, I think. And then on this page with the little onesie, I put just a little flower on the onesie. And I put a little diaper pin stamp on there as well. And I put a little bit of trim around the neckline. And then I used my little scallop oval to cut out the photo. And then I have just a regular oval behind it to mat it and put it on the pocket. And this one, I just kind of did the same thing, used an oval scallop punch to cut out the photo and then matted it and put one of the Jolie's appliques on there. So that's a pretty simple page. This page, again, I put a little uh, picture in the background with the scallop circle. Um, I put a little rosette and piece of lace on the dress in the little pocket. On the next page is I put a little stamp. It says babies are a blessing, I think. And just use a scallop square for that photo. Then on this one is the one that I had done as the front page and I, I redid it. Now it's a page within the album, but it has the baby carriage and the um, diaper pin. And then this one's got the little baby rattle on it, a little cutout from the paper line, a little scallop uh, square for my photo. And then on the baby bottle, I put, I stamped adorable on the pocket, put a little bit of uh, flat back pearls on the baby bottle. Some trim along the bottom. And on the pocket, I stamped Sweet Dreams and put a little um, scallop square photo in the background and a couple extra ones in the pocket that I had left over. And then that is my finished mini. On the back, I just left it the plain paper. It's got the uh, rocking horse showing on the back there. And so that is my finished album. And I really love how it turned out. Um, I love the little shaped tags in the pockets and all the little shaped wood embellishments I think really make it special and I actually fit you know quite a few photos in there and it's going to stand up really well like this on a shelf so probably put it on a shelf in the baby's room or something so that is my finished mini. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment below and I will talk to you later. Bye.